so that's fixed. I and Trich have never checked out your conflict. That structure is indeed unique and makes perfect sense. Well, thank you. I did simply not like how, like, there are two ways, right? You could do like the single file approach with some includes like automations.jml and groups.jml and the configuration.jml, which is a single file approach, which a lot of people use uh, because that's how you start out. And then you get the need for a more structure by, well, you go into the documentation and then you look and then you see the, the um, packages stuff. That's the other thing, right? Packages. So people start to do packages. And yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> you approve my own. <laughs> Ludius, that's just awesome. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> that's cool. But yeah, then you start doing packages. And packages don't make sense in my hum humble opinion. Even though my configuration is based on the packages and it works because of packages. But you don't feel like you're doing packages. It just, I just have a folder for everything. I have a folder for automations and there's just one automation in each file and I have a folder which contains my lights components and platforms and I have just a file for each thing um, it's I think the structure is pretty unique and I worked on it pretty long time uh, so I'm going to uh, let's merge this in It makes source control really easy. Yeah, I think so too. I think this is... I, 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 I still should document this way. Packages get weird with groups of overlapping things. I agree. I'm going to pick one and show you one of the issues though. Uh, where's the awesome list? Here it is. So if you look at... I'm going to pick yours. Not not to be offended, Mr. Uh, Mr. Carlo. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I do. I do like your configuration, though. But I'm going to see if I can find a difference between uh, between example on how I work with it and how it, you would work with it. For example, there's nothing wrong with your configuration, by the way. It's just different the way I approach things and you do. So that's not an issue. I have all sorts of wrong stuff. <laughs> okay, so this is a this is a package called alarm.jml by Carlos, who is already in the chat. Carlo V Cloud Info. He's on watching on YouTube, and look at this. It starts with Home Assistant. It it does some globs. It customizes stuff for the alarm system. Upstairs, downstairs, change some and grouping. There's grouping in here as well. Then we have the list of binary sensors which come in via MQTT and then we have another set of groups and then we do some automations for the alarm system. Yeah, that, that's about it. So this is a collection of all kinds of things for alarms, which is pretty fine and this works. But as soon as you start doing automations that hit more things, then, you, then it gets nasty. Let me see if I can find an example. Since you have an automations folder, I guess that's something that's already going on here. Okay, so here we have automation four. What does it do? I don't know, man. It changes some landscaping switch. Okay, so why is this not in a package which... This is where it goes wrong, right? I'm not sure what it does, um, and it doesn't matter really. But you have packages, and packages contains all stuff that, like, belongs together, right? The groups and the automations, and that's all in a package, which is kind of cool. But you will always have automations and other things going on that, like, are across all those packages. So it doesn't fit in any package. Yeah, that's indeed a point. Some stuff doesn't fit in the package, so I, I wanted to solve that problem, since what's going on is that you will have automations here, automations there, customizations on there, and then you have a folder where it's happening, like, it's spread all across the board, right? 
and that's that's a little bit something that's happening in here too in your repo as well which is fine there's nothing wrong with it but it's it's functioned perfectly fine but it's hard to grasp and hard to maintain as well so what i did let me go in here this is my config and what i did i created folders and the folders only contain the stuff that the folders supposed to contain so nothing else else nothing more nothing less and on the highest level i created a couple of of main folders assistants which is google HomeKit, alexa i don't know automations it only contains automations nothing more nothing less there are no other places containing automations just this folder only contains automations then we have components and components are Oh, could be seen as packages, platforms, I don't know. This actually contains the devices in my home. This is just, this is where the devices are going. Right, this is, this only contains devices, that's all. The actual things that show up, my binary sensors, my sensors, my lights, my Philips U, my, I don't know, anything you can think about. Just the configuration, like adding the device into Home Assistant, that's in here. Then we have custom components, since that's just a folder you need in case you run custom components like I do. Uh, in my case, I run uh, Tone, which is a custom component for me. Then we have customization. This folder only contains customizations. So, changing the name, changing icons, doing other stuff. This is the only thing that's that, that this one is doing. Well, the depth folder, which is empty, uh, just here for complete structure. Lovelace, which contains my cards, resources and fuse. There's only Lovelace stuff in here. My panels. These are my panels and my home assistant from that. So my iframes. And I... That's in here. Scripts, teams. This is where my teams go. And my www folder. Okay, so this is the basic top layout. If you go into the devices, into components, so these are my actual devices, you will find my Apple TVs, my binary sensors, my cameras, my device circuits, my groups, my input brilliance, my lights, my media players, everything is in here. And you will also find the packages folder. And this is where uh, actually the, the main higher level components go. So for example, the frontend component. And it only contains frontend. And in case for the alarm system, like we sh we sh we've looked at um, before, I use Very Sure, for example. Well, this is it. And adding another thing to my list is would be just creating one file, and it would be picked up. So I have a one file change in my my. Uh, I don't do not use groups, as you can see. But adding something is just creating this simple file. That's it and home system pick it up so that's how my configuration works it's just adding files to folders and if you go to my automations since my automations are just in here nowhere else so i've divided my automations into areas which are the areas in my house so specific automations for specific areas like house-wide automations routines which i do not have use for yet but I think I'm going to add some routines and system-based autom automations. So in this case, an automation for my system that starts HomeKit, sends out an upgrade alert and sets the default team. Uh, but in case of my areas, I could look into, I don't know, like let's go into my master bedroom and find the automations for my master bedroom. This is my automation for my master bedroom. Now if I go into my house, I could find like the automations for my alarm. So everything is like separated, a separation of concerns. There's nothing like somewhere, it's everything has its place. I think that's something, I think this is something that makes my, my setup completely different from others. And if you look at my, my configuration.jml, this is my configuration.jml. This is my main entry configuration.jml, and that's it. This is just a bootstrap. And yeah, I I I I would definitely like recommend to take a look. And I'm open for improvements. I'm still fiddling around a bit with it, but I think this is really well. 
concerns are separated well, I guess. VCloudInfo, I like the way you have your automation folder structure. Well, thank you, mate. And this is actually based upon something that's going to be in Home Assistant. Home Assistant is going to add the notion of areas. So that's why it named areas, because Home Assistant in, is going to support areas. You would be able to uh, put devices into areas in an upcoming release, like in a couple of releases. You would be able to put devices into areas. So that's why I named it Areas. Yeah. More doorbell automation. So that's how, how this works. Every automation is one single file. There's nothing combined. There's, n there's no multiple things in, in a file. I, 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 one file does one thing. One folder, fi one folder has one... Um, well, there's one concern in a folder. The customization, the same thing. The customizations are separated in domains, entity and globs, which are the main different types of customizations you can do. And in case of entities, like in file naming is also standardized. So in case of the light riffing room bar, I will set a friendly name and the icon. And this is the customization. I can easily add one in, I can take it out, and everything has its place and simple and clean. I, I, I love Minecraft great. I love the setup. So enough about my setup. So this is the